All I want to do is enjoy a hobby of collecting the old Star Wars toys that I grew up with. But, like any hobby, if people can make money off of it, they're going to make forgeries. Oh. Now this is a video that's probably not going to win me much fans and might upset some or some that will disagree. But we're going to talk about people making fake Star Wars figures and selling them on eBay and other places. Ones that look so much like the original figures it's hard to tell by just looking at photos. And the person we're going to talk about is Smith Lord Creations. Now I've seen that this maker of custom action figures sent out some custom figures to some YouTubers and maybe some others I guess for review. So I'm pretty sure those guys are not going to call him out for selling fake action figures. Now the one he sent out for people to review was a custom Han Solo as Stormtrooper in a vintage style. Now let me stress, I have no problem at all with custom figures, good ones or bad ones. To me, custom figures are great because they're figures that you didn't have in the original line. Like a Tarkin, I guess kind of now you do have a Tarkin, but you know what I mean. In the original line, you never had a Tarkin, a Vader with removable helmet a Rebel Trooper, you get what I'm saying, or a Han Solo Stormtrooper. Those are customs. What isn't customs is when you take something like a Blue Snaggletooth or a Yak Face, two of the most expensive and common figures in the line, and make them yourself and sell them on eBay, you're not making customs. You're making forgeries. And I know people don't like to use that word. They like to call it repo or reproductions because it makes them sleep better at night, I guess. But let's be honest with what they are. They're forgeries or bootleg at best, and they're wrong. They shouldn't be in the market, and as collectors, you shouldn't be buying them. Let's look at Smith Lore's creation of their Blue Snaggletooth. Here it is, Blue Snaggletooth. Three pictures of them, as you can see here. It's very hard by just glancing at these photos to tell what is real and what is not. These three right here are forgeries or reproductions of Blue Snaggletooth. Let's compare it to a real photo of Snaggletooth. As you can see here, you can't really tell. And I know what you're going to say. You're going to say, what's the harm, junk man? He's putting these on eBay as customs, reproductions. They're not real. So whoever buys them knows they're not going to get ripped off. Now give him that. Thank you for that. But how about the person buying it? Are they going to resell it as real? Who knows who hands these are going to fall into? You could easily pick up one of these custom blue Snaggletooth for about $50 or $60. Put it with about... 10 or 20 other Star Wars action figures that are real and take a picture of it. Most people looking at the photo over eBay or Craigslist are going to see about 10 Star Wars figures and a blue snaggletooth and it's going to look real in the picture. Now the back of these don't have the copyright date and you can say well it's up to the buyer to check all that out but it really shouldn't be up to the buyer. Some new person getting into collecting Star Wars action figure, vintage Star Wars action figures, shouldn't have to spend his time looking at the back of the leg on every photo on eBay. And as a community of vintage Star Wars collectors, we shouldn't want that either. We should want people to come into this hobby and be able to buy stuff without having to dig around in every little photo, contacting the buyer. Let me see a picture of this, a closer picture of that. And even people that's been collecting for 20, 30 years still have a problem with this. On the vintage Star Wars groups, you see it all the time. Is this a real Luke Skywalker with the extended lightsaber? Is this a real Jawa with a vowel cape? And if you look at the comments from collectors that's been collecting for years, you'll get all kinds of replies. It's definitely a repo. It's real. I'm not sure. So it's getting harder and harder for even collectors that's been in this game for years and years and years to know what is real and what is not, especially from a photo. If somebody wanted to sell a fake blue snaggletooth as real, what do you do? You buy one here for about $50. You get a picture of a back of the leg with the blue snaggletooth. And there, you put it on eBay. And it looks real. Let's take a look at his forgery of Yak Face. Here he is here. As you can tell here, it looks a lot like the original Kenner Yak Face. Let me put them side by side so you can take a look. Again, very hard to tell. I can't really tell here if the weapon is a custom, but I'm guessing it is. Again, the weapons are getting harder and harder to tell what is real and what is fake. But I know what you're going to say. You're going to say, Junk Man, 
I know it's not a real figure. I'm just going to put it in my collection. I can't afford the hundreds of dollars for a Yak Face figure. So I'm going to buy and just put it in my collection and have the figure I wanted. I never have. I'm not going to sell it. I'm not going to rip anybody off. Well, just because you're not going to do it doesn't mean anyone else is not going to do it. But also, it doesn't mean that it's not going to get sold by accident. Let's face it. You're going to die. I'm going to die. Everyone's going to die. And what's going to happen to our collection when we die? Most likely, not in all cases, most likely, someone we love will sell off our collection because they don't have the love or interest as, it, as we do with this. They're not going to know that your blue snaggletooth mixed in with all your other real action figures is fake. So what are they going to do? They're going to throw it up in an estate sale, take a picture of all your figures, throw it up on eBay or Craigslist, and say, Vintage Star Wars figures for sale. They're not going to know what is real and what is not. So then, you sold off that set and someone has been ripped off with a blue snaggletooth. Oh, hold on, let me say custom or reproduction. This is wrong on so many levels. And Smith Ward it looks very good at doing his job of making custom action figures. Stick to custom action figures. Make a Han Solo Stormtrooper. Make a Rebel Trooper. There's no reason to sell a fake yak face and a blue snaggletooth for almost a hundred dollars on ebay now i think they were going for around 50 to 60 when i looked but i've seen them go for higher not only does he have a loose yak face for almost 90 dollars you can buy a yak face on card sure a collector can tell by looking at the back of this card that something just seems off with it the mostly the lettering and the color of some of the items on the card but let's look at the card itself now, if you want to make a custom yak face, why not change the photo on it so it doesn't look exactly like the one and be easy to tell? If you're going to make a blue snaggletooth or a yak face, why not change the color? Why not make the color so different that you can tell by just glancing at it? Why does it have to be just right? Now, I know what you're going to say. You're going to say, Junkman, what's the difference between this and what Hasbro's doing re-releasing those retro figures? Isn't that custom figures isn't that reproductions well one they own the copyright to it and they have every legal right to do so what smith lord creation does i don't even think it's legal but ebay really doesn't care and hasbro doesn't care really either being that they're not making any money off the vintage stuff anyway and i'm not really coming down on them for the legal part of it it's more of the moral part sure can he make these figures he's very good at making them but the question isn't can he make them it's the question, should he make them? And should people buy them? I can't understand why someone would want them. And but back to the question at hand, is this the same thing Hasbro's doing? No, it's not. Hasbro makes the figures a little taller, a little wider, and honestly, I think any collector, even you, can spot the difference by looking at them. And even Hasbro itself went out of the way to make the card back look very different. But that wasn't taken with these, at least with the Yak Face. And again, let me stress, I'm not talking about custom figures. Figures that were never in the vintage line. I see no problem with that at all. My problem is putting forgeries of Blue Snaggletooth, Yak Face, and other rare figures, or any figures, out there on the market. If someone buys a Han Stormtrooper when Kenner never even made that figure, well, I can't really say that it's the seller's fault. I mean, even a new collector has to know a little bit of stuff. If you look at the description, he even brags that these are as close to Kenner's as you will ever get. Sad. The figure comes in a high quality, Power of the Force style card bag. This was only made in Canada. Well, it was only made in Canada. Now you can buy a forgery of it on eBay. He goes on to brag that they use the same plastic, have the same weight, and made technically the same as the originals. According to the description, it comes with a repo double sided coin. Not plastic, not repo, forgery. The figure also comes with a highly custom yet face staff. It's not a custom staff, it's a fake staff. And he brags that this staff is the best you will ever see. But he does give this warning in his eBay listing. These are for collectors and display only. In no way are these to be sold as original. Well, I'm glad he said that on eBay. No one's gonna be able to buy it now and resell it as original because he said on his eBay description, do not do that. Now I'm going to call out the community for not calling this guy out more. There's some YouTubers out there that talk Venus Star Wars toys, that's a lot more popular than I am, that hasn't called this guy out for making forgeries of Star Wars Venus figures. 
In fact, some of these YouTubers had even reviewed his Han Solo Stormtrooper. Now again, that's a custom. I had no problem with that. But to me, it feels like he's trying to win favors by sending people free stuff so they won't call him out on the yak face and the blue snaggle tooth. But that's just a feeling I get. I would love to see the community call out people like this to sell him forgery online. I know what you're going to say. You're going to say, well, Chuck, man, who cares? It's only a toy. This ain't like someone that's collecting stamps or rare artwork. Well, to some of us, it is like that. If somebody was on eBay with fake paintings, I would hope they would get called out also. If somebody's on eBay selling fake iPhones with the Apple logo and everything on it, even if it says it's fake, I would hope eBay would take them off or customers wouldn't buy them. So I know to many people these are just toys, but to me they're a lot more than toys and when you're asking 80 to 90 dollars, it's not just a toy. Now I know this isn't my typical video, but I wanted to touch base on it being that I saw so much talk about it today in the Vintage Collectors Facebook groups. Thankfully, most of the people on them groups agree with me that this is wrong, this shouldn't be done, and we shouldn't buy it. If you don't buy them, people won't make them. So it's good to know that most of the community looks down on this. I don't care if they're action figures or if you're making fake video game boxes, fake Nintendo games with ROMs inside, fake paintings of Mona Lisa. I don't care what it is, it's wrong. And we, as a community, need to call it out when we see it. Not review his custom action figures that leads more people to his Facebook group and his eBay page so they buy his forgeries. Thank you for watching. I'll be back very soon with a much nicer video. Thank you, sir, for that unsolicited testimony.